We have reached the trial's end. What the fuck? Over one million, dude. <laughs> okay. With barely any buffs. Okay, I had some buffs. But, um, <laughs> it's fucking free shot at him, dude. 900k, dude. How much? 925k. Holy fuck. 100%. Kind of messed that up. But look at the sniper here. Like, this is a sniper. Like, I love you shooting really hard with a sniper. And I'm like, this hits harder. Harder than a sniper. Like, why did I hit so little damage? But you see, like, hitting those shots there, it's so satisfying. So before we get into the skill tree, like, the main purpose of the build is just to... To be able to shoot as much bullets as possible without reloading the one pump jump. Just hitting critical points and one shotting enemies and ricocheting those bullets to other enemies. And just destroying everything close, long range. Like this is a sniper as well guys. It's insane the range. But yeah, you saw the gameplay too. You should have a somewhat understanding what the build will do. So let's just get into the skill tree. So the main component to the build is the one pump jump. Which is a slag shotgun with super high damage. As you can see it has 1425 weapon damage. With a 20 reload speed and a 3.5 weapon zoom. But one of the problems of course is that it only have one bullet as mag size right. But if you look at the unique talent it got a 50% chance to not consume ammo when fired. And that's literally it. Like every time you fire you have a 50% chance to not yeah, consume it. So there I didn't get lucky. You see there. See the luck there? So just by just firing, you can just get the bullet back, which means you can just keep spamming it, right? Which can be pretty insane. I think it always comes with a 3.5 weapon zoom. You can get crit damage on it, but I've never seen it on the 1425 weapon damage roll. It can roll like 1000, 1100, 1200. But yeah, this is the one with the highest base damage that I got. So you need that one. And if you don't know how to get it, I will explain it pretty quick here how to, yeah, I should get the gun because you can actually target from this. And yeah, as you probably will see, this is a reference to One Punch Man. So go to Fast Travel menu, pick the planet Promethea, then Meridon Metroplex, and then you want to fast travel to this station right here. When you got into Metroplex, you want to go to Electra City, which is located here on the map. Once you are in Lectra City, you want to head to the underground, which is located here on the map. Head down the stairs, keep going forward and take the first lift. You will see this door right here with the 5 TVs. You need to turn all the TVs on by pressing the objectives here in a specific order. The order I used was 1, 4, 5, 2, 2. Starting from left to right. Then you just kill him, hope for it to drop. If it didn't or you wanna get a better one, simply quit to main menu and continue the game and you will spawn close to the stars again and just repeat this for how many times you want. Anyway, since you know how to get it now, let's get to the build. So I did respec here so I can show you the process. So we're gonna start by specking this tree right here, Stalker. So we're gonna get the Fade Away, which is a really good skill for this. Yeah, since when you use the skill, you go Invis and every shot you hit is a crit hit. You can only fire 3 shots while cloaked though. But there's actually a skill augment down here that you have to spec 5 points for and then it's 8 duration which you can increase which we get to later. But still like 8 seconds and being able to shoot more, more bullets instead of 3 
And yeah, you lose some critical hit damage, but it's definitely worth it. Yeah, so to get that, we have to spec 5 points, right? So I would not spec Sikkim, because yeah, it doesn't really give us anything for this build. And if you want to have HP, you can go self-repairing system. Furious attack is not that good though, so I feel like it's kind of personal preference. I would probably think that self-repairing might be better, but I'm, I'm going to go into this one. Because it is quite some damage, even though like you're not shooting that fast, like you don't have an AR, right? But still, like you will get some extra damage from this and some handling, so why not? And then, yeah, we pick uh, Gorillas in the Mist augment, right? Put in there. And yeah, that's basically everything I'm going to get from this tree, because there is some stuff that's better down here, but we have to spec so much, and so much of the stuff is just not useful for this particular build, in my opinion. So we're gonna grab a pet as well, and I like damage, so I'm gonna go this pet. Even though it's not that beneficial, like you can go whatever pet you want, like there is better pets that gives you, yeah, better stuff, but I I'm gonna go with that pet. And we're gonna snatch one talent from this skill tree right here, 4% gun damage, spec 3 to that. So we get 12 gun damage, and most importantly, we get 45% action skill duration, which will make our or fade away longer, which is, yeah, really good. So yeah, with uh, those three points, those two trees are actually done now. So we're gonna go into the hunter tree. So we have leave no trace here, which gives you 12% chance to add ammo for every point. I have two points here from my class item, which we're gonna go to later. So I'm gonna put in, yeah, three points here, which puts me at a 60% chance to get, yeah, ammo to the gun, which is good when we only have one bullet, right? If we hit a crit, of course, but this build is crit dependent. And since we have fade away, yeah, we're going to be critting every time we are in fade away. But even when you're not in fade away, this build is all about hitting crit spots anyway. I mean, that's just, even when you are in fade away, you want to hit crit spots because you deal yeah, more damage. And then we have uh, two more here. And I'm going to get the, definitely the reload speed here. Not going to spec into this one yet. This is a really good uh, ability though. But we're gonna be one point short later, spoiler. And yeah, we're gonna have to decide later what to spec completely. I guess I can spec four points into this already. Because it is really good. Like 8% damage per stack, which is which stacks up to three, that's 24% damage, so yeah. And so yeah, then we unlock a two fan, which is insanely good with this. So you spec five into that and you get 25% chance to get an extra projectile, which is just crazy with this. Because you hit so hard, like if you hit a crit, you can hit like 500k to 1 million, and then it ricochets to the targets close, and you use one shot like 3 or 4 mobs at the same time. So definitely spec into that, and if you do have a class item for that, that would be good too. So we get that, and then we come here. Big game, it only impacts hunter skills, so it's not interesting at all for this build, so we're gonna ignore that. Then we have the most dangerous game, which is, yeah, when you kill badass, you get gun damage, critical hit damage, handling. And the duration is two minutes. So if you're only fighting bosses over and over again, yeah, it might not be worth to, to get this one. But I like to do a lot of proving grounds and other stuff where there's a lot of badasses. And then this is definitely worth it. So I spec free into that. Then we're gonna get Galactic Shadow, which is just 15 critical hit damage. And enemies are likely less to attack you which is good because if you have teammates yeah they will just take aggro and tank for you perfect right then we have grim harvest which gives a uh, gun damage and action skill damage which is yeah good with fade away and just damage overall so we spec five into that then we have megavor which gives 20 critical hit chance for every hit on on the enemy right which is yeah it's a crit build so we're definitely getting that even though it's not the highest it's still still a 20 percent chance though so we're definitely gonna pick that up. So yeah, it, le it leaves us with 13 points though, but I actually did miss this one. We wanna spec free into this, of course. Because it gives you 30% chance when you hit a crit to lower the cooldown of fade away with two seconds. And you're gonna crit a lot, so definitely wanna pick that up. Which leaves us with the 10 skill points and possibly we have 11 points left that we could spec because all of these are good. So what you do with these points is kind of up to you though. But getting some critical hit damage for free 
and handling on top of that, I feel like that's just, it's just a really good deal. So I'm gonna put five points in there. And we can put four points into this though, right? Because then we have one point left. And you can choose wherever, like, yeah, where you want to put it. And I feel like this one right here just gives me more damage to everything. And yeah, it just, if you look at the bonuses, like, always gives you damage. It also gives additional bonuses to human, robots, and beasts. And like against humans, 12% action skill damage. Versus this one, which would give... Yeah, I just think this one is better for me. The thing is the Hunter's Eye is always active. So it's like, yeah, you can shoot whatever you want. I'm gonna go with the, this one here though. And that's basically the skill tree. So to sum it up, uh, this, the most important ones that makes this build like really good. I mean, a lot of them, like everything adds up here, but leave no trace, two fang, like crazy crazy good then of course head head count is good too it's just a lot of the stuff here is good but you definitely need to to spec this one if you want to have a longer fade away because 45 percent action skill duration plus the damage so don't forget that and also spec five in here so you get this skill augment oh and actually i do have uh, this one as well eight percent gun damage from my class item but what I used to do before, I actually didn't spec 5 into this tree. I would instead play with the normal fade away. Which is only 3 bullets though, but those hit hard because they have 150 more crit damage. But I think in general it's just better to play without that. But if you really want to have the big crits then I guess you use this one. Like you don't spec the skill augment and you put those points into like you put one point into hunter's eye and then what i did was to put four points into furious attack so yeah that's uh, the skill tree so when it comes to other guns i would uh, suggest you to have other elemental guns this gun do suffer when the modifiers are bad with the for normal guns so if it, if you have a bad modifier and you really want to play this you might have to restart a few times because a lot of modifiers is bad for this gun, I guess. Like if the gun damage, if you get like minus 50 shotgun damage or minus 70 bullet damage and all that crap, then obviously <laughs> this won't be that good because it's all about base damage or damage in general, right? But yeah, looking at uh, my shield, this is the, the one I'm using. So while full, shot drains 30% shield for 20 weapon damage. Come on, boy. It's a glass cannon build, so might as well go full glass, right? Shoot once, I get 20 damage, and I lose 30% of the shield. It's pretty fast recharge for the shield, though. But yeah, I'm pretty squishy, and this is why also it could be beneficial for you to spec 5 into self-repairing, giving you HP regen and 30% max health instead of getting Furious Attack, because Furious Attack is not that good. But that's up to you. If you die a lot, then spec the HP. And then it has a 30% chance to drop a power charge that increases weapon damage by 20% as well. So yeah, if you get damage, you have a 30% chance to, to drop a blue item, which drops on the floor. You pick it up, you get 20% weapon damage. Which is kind of annoying with that one though, because you have to pick it up yourself. And I'm kind of bad with doing that, so it's not the biggest deal. And you don't really need this uh, shield, like... This is mainly for fun because I want to do a lot of damage. If I really wanted to have, make the build better, I, I don't think I would use it. Like something like Transformer would be better. And mainly why I'm saying Transformer though is because I have a 40% chance to absorb bullets, which is great. And then it's adding them to your ammo count. It actually doesn't add it to your reserve. It will add it into the chamber, right? Which means it's it should help you not... Holy shit, RNG. <laughs> what? What? Oh my god, that's crazy. So it should help you to not have to like reload. Or like any other shield. Like the shield is not that important. But I mean, if I use this correctly, I get 40% uh, more damage. Which is 
quite a lot. Looking at the, the class item I have, it's 13 shotgun damage and 14 action skill cooldown rate, which is perfect. Sadly, if you look up here on the right, it's level 20. It also has plus 2 leave no trace, which is uh, the chance when you crit that a bullet, uh, you get back a, back a bullet, right? Which is great. It also have those two here. I can't remember what they do, but they I remember they are good. So that one, which gives me 8 gun damage and free movement speed, is really good. And then this one right here, which gives me more handling and critical hit damage. So, so both of those give me even more damage. I would like to get this in a legendary form though, with uh, yeah, just higher stats and yeah, just higher stats because you can have, for example, 31 shotgun damage and probably more action skill cooldown rate as well. And in a perfect world, I would rather most likely want to have more into leave no trace, which gives you a bullet back, right? Imagine having plus four for that one or plus five. If you have plus five, that's 96% chance to, to get uh, a bullet back, right? Which is insane. Because you don't want to reload. If you can avoid reloading with this, the DPS will be insane. Then we have uh, the artifact here. And Hot Drop Victory Rush is really good. Because it gives you 18% movement speed and damage for one minute when you kill a badass. Which is just crazy. Like I play a lot of Proving Grounds and and stuff that have a lot of badasses, so I will have this up most of the time. But if you play a lot of bosses, then yeah, equip something else. And looking at the stats of it, it doesn't have the best, like reload speed, yeah, that's good. Health, yeah, it's fine. But I would definitely like to have shotgun damage on this one, weapon damage, action skill cooldown rate, or whatever it can have, like more fitting to the build. I'm not exactly sure what it can have. Maybe it can't even roll that. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it can roll damage, so 70, like 17% uh, shotgun damage would be sweet. This one I used before as well, like when you slide, you do 50% more shotgun damage, which is kind of fun to use. Also, it does have 12.67 luck, so yeah, you can use that as well if you want to goof around for high damage. But yeah, that's the build. And yeah. Burning Flacker is really good, probably gonna make a video about that one. Looking at uh, this one as well, Lydia, gonna make a build about that one as well. I do have even more builds that I do wanna make, so stay tuned for more build videos. And yeah, this is the first uh, Borderlands 3 video I make. So the, so the build video concept or template may not be the best, but I will leave you here with some gameplay that I just actually played. First of the day, my aim was terrible, I died a lot. <laughs> I actually rather want to upload another run, but but I didn't use the same build. I tweaked it a little bit today, which should be better. So I w I'm going to keep that one in anyway. You just have to imagine that I don't die as much and that... And that I hit more headshots. <laughs> because it was pretty awful uh, gameplay for me. But anyway, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And see you guys in the next video. Alright, so it's like 2 a.m. I did record this like two hours ago, but I was going to add it to my video, but apparently it didn't have any audio. For some reason. I've had issues today with uh, my microphone. I used audio in general, so I did like kind of solve that. So the video you, you did watch now, if you're actually watching this long. I had to redo that four times. And I think my microphone was messed up. It seemed to me that it sounded weird. It, it might just be me. I don't know why I didn't kill that one. That was fun. So yeah, I'm pretty tired. Call hands. But yeah, that's a lot of legendaries, by the way. And don't get triggered if I don't pick them up because I'm full. <laughs> but anyway. This build is really fun though, but it does require a lot of aim. And I haven't really played the new version that I did. Because I said, as I said in the video, I didn't know that it only required... Uh, okay, of course there's some, there's some up here. Dude, the legendaries. May I'm free, by the way, that's why. But yeah, what was I saying? Shit, I forgot it. I'm so tired, guys. 
Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that it took... Uh... That it only took 5 pounds to, to unlock... Uh... To unlock uh, the fade away thing. That you can shoot like infinity times. Definitely not the best gameplay, but at least it's gonna be with the actual. Uh, where did it spawn? Oh, I fucked it up. At least with, with the actual build, like the one I had before. Oh, I actually had to shoot that one. Usually he spawns NPCs though. Damn, look at that. Kinda messed that up. But look at the sniper here. Like, this is a sniper. Like, I love you shooting really hard with a sniper, and I'm like, this hits harder. Harder than a sniper. Like, this is. I don't know, this gun is just so fun to me. Missing my shots, though. Like, you have to hit your shots. Why did I hit so little damage? But you see, like, hitting those shots there, it's so satisfying. Gonna shadow play that and add to the video in the beginning. So people know what to expect. Hope this one here. Now I can even one shot to the body. Which makes it easier since I'm tired. And if this commentary seems <laughs> weird, then yeah, as I said, like uh, I'm really tired. Been working on this video for quite some time. If you do watch my division content though, my plan was to shake through the PTS notes. But since this video is like taking way longer than expected can I please not die I can't do it today did I kill him? these dogs are annoying my aim is not good yeah this is not as fast as I usually do it but hey would be nice if we could get at least below 5 why am I doing so little damage? Did I not have buffs there? Like it kind of relies on a lot of buffs, that's for sure. Like it's a lot about uh, momentum, right? Momentum, aim. <laughs> Look at how much I'm missing. It's embarrassing. And if you lose the momentum, then you get bullied. So I didn't kill that guy though, but my ricochet bullet uh, killed some stuff. Like you want to kill them when they spawn, that's what I usually do. But yeah, I'm pretty slow. Uh, I'm not hitting my bullets. Timings, dude. But yeah, if you are playing this and struggling a bit, then as I said in the video, you can spec more HP and use another shield. Usually I'm a little bit more alert. Yeah, we can't even get below 5. Yeah, this is not a good run at all. And I don't have my ult here, so can't even one-shot the boss. Kind of want to do another one. But I'm too lazy for that. This will have to do. Can't always get good runs. So I'm killing the... NPC there to my left, that's why I'm getting buff. Oh shit, this is slow. But I think still this should showcase the build. Nice one. Decently. It requires a lot of aim though. I guess. Some skill has been demonstrated. But yeah. I'll slop it around here. But it still works well though, right? But yeah, that's the build. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the build and the gameplay. And see you guys in the next video.